Hey everybody, welcome back to part 6 in our series of how to play A Song of Ice and Fire the miniatures game on the tabletop simulator. In this video I am going to show how conditions and wounds work and how to use the tactics board and the dice trays. So let's start. Conditions are set and unset via the condition panel above a unit's tray. If we want to activate the bowman, we click on the activation icon on the left. If we use an order, we use the uh, order token, panicked, vulnerable, and weakened. And if we click one of the icons again, we unset the condition. If a unit suffers wounds, we can press the hot icon. Each time we click, we deal one wound. And if we want to heal a unit, um, we click on the plus icon in the unit tray up to where we want to fill the tray again. So let's say we heal two wounds and we click on this icon and it heals two wounds. If we want to heal the entire unit, we click on the last position and it fills the entire tray. For solos and cavalry models, this works a little bit different. So if we have a look at the Stark Outriders here, when we press the wound once, instead of removing a model, because every model has three wounds, we see a wound icon added to the condition panel. If we click it again, a second icon is added. If we now want to heal one of those two wounds, we just click on the wound we need to heal. Okay? So this removes wound icons from here. If we deal enough damage to remove a model, that model is automatically removed. And now we can heal in the same fashion as we would with the um, infantry unit. Just click on that plus icon here, puts in a new model. If we quickly want to see which units are not yet activated, we can um, use the highlight unactivated units button in the top left corner. Just click that once and it will highlight all units that have not yet activated this round. Now let's switch to the tactics board. Okay, move over here. If you want to claim a tactics zone, you just pick up the NCU and drop it on the tactics zone and it will automatically orient uh, towards the uh, game board. And that way, so this is how you claim zones. Victory points can be tracked on the victory point trackers just behind the tactics board. Just press on the plus icon to add a victory point. Press on the minus button to deduct a victory point. To end the round, you can just move the uh, round token to the next round. And this will automatically return all your NCUs to their previous position. And it will also remove any activation or order token. And it will move the first player marker. Now let's have a look at the dice trace. I wanted to keep the dice tray simple for anybody who wants to use the built-in dice rolling mechanic of Tabletop Simulator. However, the dice trays also have a um, control panel, which is hidden behind this uh, small button here in the corner of the dice tray. If you click on that, it opens up the panel. And this now allows you to set the number of dice you want to roll. You can do that by moving the slider. And as you move it, it will either add or remove dice. You can also use the buttons to the left and right of the, of the slider to increase or decrease the number of dice that you need to roll. You can then set the target number, either using the slider or the buttons. Let's say we go with a target number of five. And to roll the dice, you just press roll. And that rolls all the dice currently on the tray. In order to reroll failures, you click on failures. In order to reroll successes, you click on successes. You can also roll your panic dice along with this. However, the panic dice are otherwise ignored by the dice tray. So if I press roll, you see how your normal D6 are all counted and grouped, whereas the um, panic dice are not counted or grouped. If you want to customize your dice a little, you can choose which house dice you want to use. Let's say you're playing Night's Watch. 
just choose nice watch dice. There are also a couple of additional dice that we've added. There are community dice. So these are dice from different content creators. So Song of Ice and Fire Guild, for example. Um, we've got Mythical Studio. There's also Simon dice in here and so on and so forth. And finally, there's dice from the Team Super League. And if you took part in that league, uh, yeah, you might find it interesting to, to use your team dice. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Remember to stay hydrated. Cheers.